Okay, so here we go. The mic is on. What's up, G? How you What's doing, up, man? man? What's going on, Broski? Not much, man. Uh, this is the first interview from from the street to the track. Yes, sir. Um, it's definitely um, been a thrill working with you, man. You know, uh, but from the street to the track is basically interviewing different riders yeah. uh, from different spectrums, right. um, whether you're a street rider, track rider, Harley rider, whether you ride Grom or, you know, the smaller bikes or whatever, yeah. you still can be interviewed. Uh, my name is Gerald King of yes, GK sir. Sport, and uh, I would like to ask you a few questions. See, yes, sir. See if we can uh, establish some tips for new riders or, you know, uh, let them know who you are and, you know, what's your claim of fame? Yes, sir. My name is Ali Olivier. Um, they call me GQ. I've arrived for about uh, 15, a little bit over 15 years. Um, on and off, I've had uh, four different bikes. I started out on a Suzuki Katana. Yeah, um, I know that is. Yeah, man, it was, it was a good look. Like, I burnt it out in like three months. <laughs> um, and then I jumped up to a 750, a, a Jixxer 750, because I'm a brand loyal person. Okay. So uh, if I find something that fits me, that's good for me, I stay with it, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? You. And um, usually the brands that I'm loyal to is good to me. So um, I jumped up to a, a Suzuki uh, Jixxer 750. And then um, later on, about, a, about a, six months later, um, all in the first year, I jumped up to a, a, a Jixxer 1000. It was a 2007, matter of fact. 1000 wow. right, off the show, right off the showroom floor. Wow. Um, I love that bike too. Um, and I rode the hell out of that for a long time. So uh, it was a good bike, you know what I'm saying? And now I have a Aprilia um, RSV4. So. Okay, that's what's up, man. Yes, sir. Um, well, you pretty much answered the second question, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Yeah. Are you a street rider, or a track rider, or both? So I'm a street rider right now. I plan on going to the track eventually, mm -hmm. um, especially with like you know Atlanta traffic. You know that's one of those things you just, you have to be aware of. Um, so for me, I plan on going to the track eventually, being able to really just cut into some corners and whatnot out there, um, and reduce my risk on the streets. Yeah, that's um, that's I heard that's definitely the way to go to get up your skills. You yeah, know, for sure. You know, go to track. Um, what bike do you ride and why? So right now I got a Prilly RSV4. Um, I'm gonna be honest, man. That bike, the bike itself is amazing. It's exhilarating. But outside of, of the the excitement I have from the bike, from the moment I saw it, I, I was like I was in love with it. You know, yeah. so it's like love at first sight, right? Wow. So um, I I I I got a deal with it. Um, they they sold it for me for I'm gonna say pretty good, pretty cheap. And uh, for me, what I do. Everything about that bike is like handling, the riding, you know what I'm saying? Um, the first month I took it up to the mountains, you know what I'm saying? And, and really got into some corners. Yeah, but I didn't really have gear, so I was kind of nervous about being out there. Um, but, you know, so to the ride for that bike, the, the handling for that bike is what. Okay. What's kind of Any cool. upgrades on it? Um, it's pretty much stock, man. It's pretty, pretty much, much stock. stock. I don't believe on a bike like that that you're going to do too much, you know what I'm saying? I got you. Um, <clears throat> What I mean by that is, there's certain bikes you just don't touch, certain cars you just don't touch. Yeah, I got you. You just don't mess with it. It's, 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 it's already, already elegant, it's already fast. It's already set to I do what you. it's supposed to do. I got you, you know what I'm saying? So you I just dig what you're saying, man. Yeah. Um, any safety tips uh, while riding on the street? I'm going to be honest, man. I always wear my gear, bro. Like, I, I broke my leg. All the gear, all the time. All the gear, all the time, exactly. I broke my leg um, back in 2010. Because I had on a jacket, I had on, it was summer, it was springtime, um, it was hot in Augusta. I uh, I was running this, literally going up the street, coming right back. I had a 30 minute thing to do, um, so 15 minute ride from where I was and where I was going. And um, <clears throat> excuse me, I just didn't wear my, my shoes that day. I didn't have shoes at that time. Yeah. Uh, and normally I wear you know uh, Tim's or something like that, something that comes up a little bit high ankle. I didn't do it that day. I had on sneakers. I had on some J's, matter of fact. Wow. And um, that particular day, man, I, I rode. Showing out, popped the wheelie, the bike got away from me, and I, I broke my ankle, I snapped it. And so now I never go anywhere without gear on, no matter what. I don't care if it's up the street to the gas station, I'm, I'm geared up. Okay. It takes me longer to get to get geared up than to get to get where I'm going sometimes, you feel me? Yeah, I think um, it, 
but, but I always wear all my gear all the But time. you definitely, definitely a safe, safe rider. Yeah, for and sure. by J's, you mean Jordans, right? Right, I had on some Jordans. Yeah, okay, so. okay, that's what's up. Um, what gear you chose to protect yourself with and why? Well, I mean, um, you know, being a new brand ambassador with GK Sport, I'm, I'm, I'm only rocking GK Sport now, man. And the reason is because um, everything is custom. Everything fits me to a T. Um, you know, most recently I got these gloves um, to match my gear, as you can see. Um, but these gloves, man, I mean, it's literally the same. Fits like a glove. My jacket, my gear, my, 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 my gloves. Everything fits me. You know what I'm saying? There's not going to be anyone else with my stuff. That you know what I mean? My name, my colors, my bike, I match my bike. So, but most importantly is the comfort, man. I, I haven't found anything. I, and I've, I've used, no, I don't want to knock any of the brands, yeah. but I've used some of the more popular brands out here. They're expensive as, as I don't know what, and they fit, but it's still, it's made for everybody. Yeah, that's Mine is made to my measurements. My shoulder, my shoulder length down to my torso, to my arm length, it's exactly a fit for me. You know what I'm saying? So, um... That's why I rock with GK brand. I dig it. That's what's up, man. Um, well, any fallen riders uh, that you want to shout out to or uh, let them live through you vicariously for this moment, um, I think that's important for for us to uh, remember them, to let them live through us, and uh, kind of like give them a moment, man, you know. For sure. uh, we lose a lot of people out here in Atlanta, and uh, through you know my new segment from the street to the track, man, I just want to let them live for a moment, you know. For sure, for sure. Um, I, I, it's too many to name, to be honest. Unfortunately, it's too many to name. So I'm gonna say just um, R.I.P. to everyone we lost. Yeah. Um, and then you That's know, my, them, yeah, for sure. My condolences and my prayers stay out with your families. Those of us left behind, grieving for you and with you, um, you know, to the families, we still, we're still with you. We're still praying for you, um, and we're praying for our, 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 our fallen ones. Um, every time we ride, we do a prayer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not Christian and Muslim, but I pray the same. You know, what I'm saying? we pray to the same God, in my opinion. So I, I say a prayer every time I get on. Um, <clears throat> Before we started the segment, I had to pray. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so very I pray important. for for the people we lost all the time. So I keep I keep them in mind. I keep them in our memories. Um, you know, it's a lot going on, but um, I just, you know, I definitely pray for everyone every chance I get to get on the bike. I, I definitely remember them when I'm getting on, remember them in my day-to-day. -day. It's so, very important, man. For sure. Um, so what you have in store for the future, man? Um, like I said, my next steps is uh, to uh, get on um, get on the track. <clears throat> I'm going to get another bike um, that I can customize just for the track. Because, you know, it's the bike setup for the, for the uh, track is separate from the setup for yeah, the street. Yeah, it, it is. All right, so, um, and I'm sure you probably do a segment on that eventually. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to, um, I already got the gear for it. You know, yeah. so my gear is already set yeah. up. So I got to get a bike that I can, I don't have to worry about splashing with and, 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 and uh, I can get back on. So um, that's my next steps uh, to do that. And then I'm looking at, a, I'm trying to do a bike club, maybe um, a bike club set. You know what I'm saying? Something, um... Be a little bit more involved on the set, a little bit more organized. I got you. Um, and that's really it. Yeah. I got you. Well, man, I really appreciate you. For sure, man. Taking For the sure. time out to... Uh, I had to do it. My pleasure. Let, you, let, let the people know who you are, you know, what type of rider you are. Yes, of course, you're my first, uh, my first interview. And uh, <laughs> I look forward to working with you in the future, man. Yes, sir. Uh, my pleasure. It's been a pleasure so far, man. My pleasure, sir. And... Uh, Judging from your character, man, it's gonna just grow from here, you know. Lord willing, man. Lord willing, I wish the best for you, bro. Skip. I pray that uh, abundance of blessings on both of us, man. I appreciate it, man. It's and vice versa, man. So you know, I'm, I'm about to get into that work, but I pray that you know we. I, I love to see us win, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not a white or black thing, bro. But it's a, it's a, it's a the haves and the have-nots, and what I mean by that is the the financially less able to get in there, you know what I'm saying, put yeah. a seat at the table, you know what I mean, so yeah. I pray that, you know, you're the first of your kind doing this, man, I don't know anybody who's, you know, putting it out there on this scale, putting it out there, putting the culture, you know what I'm saying, in an entrepreneurial form yeah. for others to be able to, for us to be able to consume, right, so yeah. we're like the FUBU, for us, by us, and that's yeah. what you're doing, you know what yeah, I'm saying, I love, much, that. Man. Uh, I love that, you know, I've been inspired by hip-hop, 
you know, for a long time. And uh, that's dope. Back in the day, if you didn't, if you wasn't, I want to record some records. Don't go ahead. Don't mind me. Go ahead. If you wasn't a rapper uh, with their own brand, you know, back in the day, rappers just used to put their name on clothes. Yep. And if you wasn't one of them, and you know, was popular, you really couldn't get into the the uh, hip hop market as far as the clothing. You know what I mean? Right. So. Uh, I don't know if you remember uh, Maurice Malone. Yeah. He was doing what I was thinking about doing in hip hop. Okay. Because when you flip his jeans up, he had a re reflective ring around the, the bottom of it. Nice, yeah, yeah. So uh, I couldn't really get in because of having the money, yeah. uh, the resources, or whatever. Yeah. And uh, I was a trucker at the time, and a motorcyclist passed me by in the fall. And he just vanished. Oh, wow, yeah. So that's when the light came on. Hey, these guys need it. Yeah. You know, the reflective stuff. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So uh, I kind of like merge the two worlds. You know, hip-hop and reflective. That's why you see me sense. with uh, the polo. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The polo shirts, the baseball jerseys, yeah. basketball jerseys, whatever. That's the urban side of right. my product. Yeah. You feel me? So uh, that's how I merged the two worlds. And that's how I came up with uh, the GK Sport thing. So let me ask you this. I'm, I'm interviewing you now. I'm interviewing you now. So let me ask you this. Um, do you feel that your gear is set up for indie writers or club writers uh, or both? It's, it's set up for both. Right. You know, being that it's customizable yep. and it's a full range of different products, you know. Uh, we have, uh, of course, the mesh products. We have the leather products yes, and everything in between. Okay. You know, uh, just recently I added, you know, the uh, Alpine Stars Air Vest yes, sir. that blow up when you, uh, when it detach from the steering wheel, like you uh, this model. Yeah, I heard about them, yeah, I heard about Yeah, uh, my jacket suits is compatible. Nice. That's, that's if you, if you say, hey, look, I'm about to get this Alpine Stars uh, Air Vest. Yeah. I can, I can, you know, suit you up. I can make it, you know, compatible with my brand. Makes sense. Nice. You know what I mean? Nice. Uh, that's the highest level. Lately, uh, the latest thing would be the water bottles in the in the hump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I saw uh, that. I saw yeah. that in the prototype. Yeah. Uh, from from 